Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the house with the domination into, well, the end of another tournament. And this is Barbecue Gets Insanity with the third match placement. And we have, oh man, very good players and a team that uh, has been definitely the, in my opinion, the best team after AM and Gamer Legion, Miguel, Sito and Dogao. But this for me is kind of weird and it's definitely not good, in my opinion, for the eSport part of this tournament, of this game. Why? Because when there is a tournament with $24,000, and this might be controversial and some people might not like it, but I don't care. This is my opinion and I will tell, you know? And uh, that doesn't make any sense for me that there is one team that is my insanity and then Sito is playing with another, you know? Yeah, it, it, it's kind of weird, you know, it's it really kind of weird. You might say, well, that happens uh, one day with a slam and the, the exactly same Brazilians. And we were positive about that. Agreed, because slam never played with Gamer Legion. But, uh, and then now look at where slam is. It's not with them anymore. So, yeah, it, it's kind of awkward, you know, even more because it's the first time that I see a real, or almost the first time, because the, my Insanity team has not been playing together a lot. Yeah, it was with Margugu, which it seems that he's not playing today. And now we have an Anotop as a pocket. Kimmer, freaking Andy as a flank. Let's see how he's going to play. But I really believe that freaking Andy play better as a pocket as well. So let's see how they're going to play. Because they are basically using two pocket players like purple and yellow. And then red, Daniel as a flank. Okay. Margugu is in Fox. And then Fox has also a team uh, in this tournament. And Margugu was in with Fox. So it was similar, you know. Then, sadly, it's only... Mm, you have only the feeling that my insanity, Fox, these teams... People don't take them too serious. Because, yeah, I mean... There's a tournament, team game tournament, that there's not many. And then they mix all the players. It's kind of weird. Anyway, let's focus in the map. The map is Raw Rage. You know, now that we have made this uh, small introduction about the, the, the scene, and we see the players already going up, Love red you, and man. yellow. Thank you, Mr. Tora. Uh, red Britons as a flank, yellow, Khmer, pocket, and purple. Oh, the Dandra Vivians, right facing teal. Chinese, Sito as a flank, Dogao. That is playing insane as a flank. Well, it's playing insane in general, you know. And Miguel, that has been finally very, very solid as a pocket. Yes, I mean, he always has played play very strong, but in tournaments was probably not playing his best. I think in this tournament he has really played very, very well, you know. And we hope that he keep this, uh, this trending, let's say. And on top. Already with the stable, no barrack. You don't need the barrack, right? To, to make the stable, so you are saving some resources and it's 15 population up, my goodness. So quick. Remember that you start with six villages in this tournament, so he's not starting with three, so obviously the uptime is also much quicker. All right. It's everything good, guys. The, the microphone, the, the, the image quality, all is all good. I hope so. That is everything good. Just let me know. Okay. And now we have here the four fishing ships with the scout that is hitting already. That's annoying, man. That's very annoying. And his scout is really far. Well, he's Japanese. It's the good thing. So maybe he's going to hold. We'll see. Sito is up already. Double archery range with the beautiful China. Well... Purple will do double RG range too. And Wallin already. He's gonna take the fish? Probably no. Oh, yellow is also here. So now he will take it. Uh oh, oh, oh. This is bad. This is really, really bad. He's gonna make a fire galley. He has to. And now he's not gonna send the scout at all. Just move the others. And yellow is sending all the scouts, actually. Not only one. He's sending. Now green is coming with the scout too. He has to be careful, he's sending more, and, well, I think he will lose one fishing ship, but that's it. No more. Yeah, definitely no more. Yeah, he has still more, but 
Now with the fire galley there, he's gonna be fine. He just gets in time. Blue lost the scout. Yellow is sending more, but fire galley is almost there. And now you want to kill the scout. He's doing that. But they did some small damage to do go. Miguel is with Lithuanians. Oh, he took some damage to that scout. And you have to be careful he's sending the spear because he's going very aggressive. You gotta be careful. Nah, nothing will happen. Or it shouldn't happen. The spear is there. And now he might lose the scout. Okay, four scouts here. Being aggressive. One RT range with Britons. Daniel, who is walling. On the side, double RT range. He's the only one with only one RT range, but he has Plasmith already. No fletching though. But maybe with Britons, he can be okay because they, they produce faster. While Purple, Andy is doing what he knows to do better. Sorry, Andy. I love you, but it's true, man. Wall like a beast wall all the map and now wall this yeah why not it's a compliment it's a real compliment you know she'll change the nickname into freaky waller yellow has eight scouts a lot of scouts man oh my god double the scouts almost well five now for green but he's gonna have another so it's nine scouts that's crazy absolutely sick Blue is also walling or trying, but red is already inside. The archers are coming. Archers without fletching. Red has the fletching here, so this is why the two archer ranges maybe is not worth it that much. He has the archers on the queue, yes, but without fletching, problems. Real problems, and the scouts are already in. He's coming now green, but Anotop. My insanity playing this first game, very aggressive. It's gonna work. We will find out. I like it. This is a lot. Oh, he walled. Nice. But blue... He's doing now fletching. Only now fletching. Yellow still have a lot of scouts. Green don't have the numbers yet. And blue can't deal without fletching. We'll have in 10 seconds. He's gonna... Okay. He's gonna lose some village here. No, he's doing the house. And another one. I like it. Now they're going to be fine. Yeah, they waited exactly the right time. Awesome. Really, really awesome. Red is coming with more arches. Not really. I mean, he has three arches here, but the others... On the archery range. Why? Good question. I don't know. Now they're gonna lose a lot. The archers are obviously now in favor to blue. And he's trying to make the damage. And yellow still have a lot of scouts. But the micro was, in my opinion, a much better micro from Miguel and Dogao. Don't know what you think. On the other side, we see purple with so many archers. But there is a fire galley from Miguel. He might not demo now. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, the galleys are too strong. He's gonna kill the fish. It's not easy to kill the fish. Nah, I don't like this move. I really don't like this move. Because now, Deal is going to destroy. This is exactly what he's doing now. He's finishing the tower. He can't finish the tower. And this is what you call game over for yellow. Yeah, because he's gonna defend those bullets, but he can't defend all. He's gonna lose two. Then five are idle. He's gonna take it. He has to kill it. And he will. And now yellow is in big problems. Because his economy is suffering. He's going to take it? No, he didn't. But they are, the villages are still idle. As you can see, 30 villages, 9 army. Green, 35. Already 4 villages behind. My goodness. Market. And here we are with the scouts. Controlling the army, the decision is so important. So you lost units here. Then Teal is in the pocket. He's coming. Yeah. With many scouts. They are with the scale bar and armor. But, well, his economy has suffered for sure. He's trying to get a spot that... Oh, good spot here. Okay. You don't want to fight there. Very good spot. Dogao. Did Dogao use the market? Well, like if it was Saracens. And now, he's going up. But guys, Daniel is going up castle. It's even faster. Oh my lord. Okay. Yeah, they are playing good. But they are behind in village and behind in numbers. In military. So, they are overall behind. And now gonna lose Andy, all the army. He's on the way to Castleage. But he has 11, 10 army, 9 arches, 1 spear. While Sito is up with China and he has 25 archers. That only means that how the hell are you gonna counter him?
when the time up is 10 seconds difference. Oh my god. Daniel losing all the villages here now. Okay. Forcing to to move another four. The others are idle and now he has a lot of farces. Okay, that's good. Yeah, he has some good numbers, but overall their numbers, oh man. I look at now he hit the board also. You kidding me, right? You kidding me, right? You really kidding me, right? Oh man. Ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Now look at those. Blue is killing the archers. Steel is killing the board. The villain is killing everything. This is game over, guys. I mean, how you can counter this amount of army? Yeah. Okay, Daniel is in Castleage. That's the good thing. A little bit faster and Britain's range. But now yellow is there. Yellow with bloodlines. But guys, Miguel is up with 9 scouts. Yellow has 12 scouts and he's not even close to go up. He's gonna be able now to kill? Oh, they will. Green boobit. Green went away. And blue is losing all the archers. Definitely losing here all the archers. But now, this is a massacre on Yellow's economy. Yeah, he will kill. Quite some. I look at four villages here for red. You gotta kill it. Daniel is losing everything. It's a brutality destruction. And now you see the archers here from Andy. Yeah, Andy is doing an extra tone center, but Sito is well known for going just one TC quite aggressive. So maybe there is nothing else that he can do. Yeah. Okay. Now let's see. Valistic. Already, which is very nice, but Teal. It's a lot of army. He's not doing ballistic, but he has triple archer range. Well, purple? Triple archer range too. But you can see that the numbers are... Yeah. Crazy. Well, ballistic now can help. Military numbers is getting closer. Very, very close, actually. I like it. I really like it, but guys, yellow is still in feudal age. And he's still in feudal age for, for quite a bit. He still didn't click. Up and now green will be with chain barred in armor. Yeah, those units now will have ballistic, and that's a problem. Teal 22 army, purple 8 archers. He's dead, guys. And he's dead. And he is the top scorer in his team. And he's gonna be destroyed right now. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. Maybe he needs siege or something. We'll see. Many archers. Gonna take another. No, no, no. Okay. Wow, he's spamming with more. He's still on one tone center. And he's doing a siege war shop. But a siege war shop, when you are in a 3v3 and then potential knights can come, the siege war shop most likely will get a snipe. You know, by the, by, 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 the, by the scouts even. Okay. There was a demo there. He could have used the demo, but he didn't. Probably the scouts are chasing, so he's feel fine. But the scouts are with plus two. Jill is now going up. And what is Red doing? Well, population between me, uh, Daniel and Dugao is not a big difference. It's still 40 villages, 45, 20, 25, well, 5-5. Five, five. <coughs> Here we are with archers. Archers without ballistic. Ballistic only for Andy, while in the other team, two plies. Both flanks got ballistic. Oh, he could have killed the knight. But he's letting him mass. He's letting him mass. Now he notice. It's plus two, plus two knights. Wow, he got some relics already, I believe. No? I don't see the monastery. It's here? Yeah. And now two relics. Whoa, plus three now. Oof. Plus three knights already. Oh, boy. And he's raiding here. Yellow is not yet in castle. And they are calling the Yi Yi. Well, uh, it was looking that they were going very aggressive in the start. You can see how uh, Anotop didn't even reach castle in minute 24 with Khmer. And if you don't make a massive damage and you're still in 24 minute in Feudal Age, you know that only one thing can happen. You die. You completely die. Yeah, you can see Sito and Miguel with the same KD. Fantastic. They go negative, but well, doesn't matter. Economy, 
you can see the economy, except freaking Andy, that was similar to them. The other two players, extremely behind. Really, really behind. Yeah, that was a clear win for BBQ. Let's go. Game number two, amigos. Oh, this, this, is, this is usually a nice one. Yes. I like it. Miguel has a pocket Vikings. Anoto Vikings as well. They will go for the water for sure. But the flanks, they always will have some clown approach. Let's see. Sito already going with three villas to make a lumber camp. Lumber camp, I will do the lumber camp here. But he's going to this area. Okay. Want to cut quicker. But you could make the lumber camp here and I still chop those trees. Obviously without the same efficiency. But then you will need a second lumber camp later. And very fast. Oh, Daniel is doing a Baraka Obama with Incas right away. And mining gold. So he won't have a lumber camp and so on. He's trying to make the damage. So it's very important that Daniel find, for example, this. If he find this, then Teal is Fook. You know, he need to go and try to go for the ring. And he's going to find it. This is very good. Very, very good. I like it. I like it. And this with Turks on the other side, he will try to go standard, wall everything, Castle and Janissars, pretty expected. Dugal, Bohemians, can go Monks, can go, well, whatever. Well, we'll see what he's going to do. He has four volleys on wood here, and now the Milicianos are coming, and he has no loom. So, we hope to see some blood. We hope to see some blood here. Oh, okay, we won't. We want to see it. Let's go to Teal point of view. And he see the, the militias, so he need to move. Because the no loom is huge. And now this is a real problem. I will even send a villager to wall that lumber camp, honestly. I'm, I think it will be worthy. Because you, you kinda screwed the whole the whole idea of his approach. But now uh, okay. He's sending the two militias and the eagle to the middle. Look at Green. Pretty sick. He already chopped the trees here to be in the middle. Sick. My goodness. Another militia coming. I, th I think three militias is kind of too much, but I might be wrong. Yellow also could hit there. Well, purple is not even bothering into the water. He's just planning of his arena style to dominate. Yeah, but look at Green. Very smart. He already walled so he cannot do any damage. So basically, those three militias and one eagle, what they achieve, guys? What they achieve? Are you still here, guys? Or, or this is bot and uh, AI viewers? Come on, man. Four minutes without a single message in the chat. Why I come to stream if there is no people? What the hell? People, wake up! My goodness, both viewers, man. My goodness. Talk, man. Four minutes, the, the last message. Unbelievable. Vamos. I want interaction. My casting is an interactive casting. My goodness. So, is this worthy what Daniel did? No. No, no. I mean, it will be... Oh. Still till no loom? What the hell? But he's not, he's not killing. Yeah, just go and kill that villager, man. He's still without the loom. Just kill the villager, man. Nah, he's not. He's protecting. Sito playing properly here. Very nice. The militias are coming. And blue is up. But now purple. Andy. So predictable, man. It's going to go fast, castle. Oh, he's going to eat the TC. Purple. Oh, took some damage. Not really. And two houses. What is blue going to do? He's mining gold here. He's going to lose the house and that can be important. And now he's doing malicious himself. To try to go aggressive with the Bohemians. All right. Red, now wall in all. Doing a house. He has a lumber camp now. And please, fix the idols. Yeah, it's good. It's, well, it's something. Blue might need more houses. Doing more malicious. And red will go fast castle probably after this approach. He's 22 bullets and three more in the queue, you know. Cast is so good. We have nothing to talk about. I, I can understand that. Like you hear my my deep voice because he's a very very grave voice, right? And you are like, 
oh man, what I'm listening, who I'm listening. It's like if you are in, I don't know, in God talent, right? You, you, you cannot focus, man. I understand. I really understand you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I forgive you, everyone, guys. All good. Anyway. Um, Barak in front. Red is now going up. He's still going to make a domination. We'll see. Blue is coming. Man at arms. He will break here easily. Because purple. Yeah, because blue has a scout here. And this is only a palisade. I mean, all these walls for nothing. Andy is going to die. Yeah, man. It's so, so sloppy play. The goal is now gone. And honestly, I have bad feelings for this series, guys. I have the feeling that Miguel Dogao and Cito are going to destroy. I don't know, guys, if you agree. But this such a feeling. Do, 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 do. I can't a feeling. Do, 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 do. Fill it down. And now with the man at arms, remember that he's still in Dark Age. He's gonna wall. Okay, but Purple has good food. Yes, but he has no goal. He has no goal. He can go castle it and. Yeah. But you need the buildings. Let's see the buildings. Market and Blasmin. Oh, oh. Market and Blasmin. Yes. He's going to try to wall. He's sneaking a village. I like that. This is very good, actually. This is very, very good. And he's going to give him an extra life, for sure. These militias. Oh, he's going to take the, the village here? No, he saved the village with one HP. Pretty sick. Okay. And he's walling. Just wall like this, man. You need to wall even that close. But still. Okay, he's going to sell now food. And as you can see, freaking that Mandy... It's on the way to Castle Age. Yes. He's up. He has no wood to make a mining camp for a stone. He should do it here. And he's doing it right now. He's now taking some gold. Gold is important. It is definitely important. He's going to lose the house. But he should wall a little bit. And here. Oh, stone walls that are not going to work. He should just wall farther, man. Exactly. That's a gate and a stone pile. In this area. It's walling, stone walling, Mr. Daniel, who is struggling. He's at the limit. The tower is going to be up. And now, put the arches in the tower, probably. And with the village, kill the palisade. No, but he's walling. Oh, boy. That was bad. That was really bad. Because red? Well, well red, ha red has no economy. He's in feudal age, but he has nothing. Like, really nothing. He's not like Andy that went castle age. Oh, and I didn't see this. Good fish, man. Well, blue... Doesn't have, doesn't have any dock. All right. The problem for Andy is that he's going to be in castle. He's doing gold mine and upgrade, double attacks. But he has no, no stone for a castle. He has six villages, okay, but I don't know. She's so still being aggressive. This is now fletching. So with fletching, the villages are, are going to fall. Okay, he didn't. And here, trying to break in, but they can't. This reminds me the... The BF Games, yellow, 11 galleys, Miguel, 9 galleys, is still going. Also with Tilt, some fire galleys, that can help. Well, actually, it really can help. And Andy? Andy's almost buying the stone for the castle. He's doing another gate, he's gonna get in. He only need a hand of the stone, and where he's gonna make the castle? Here? Are you drunk? Just make it here, man, the castle. Yeah. I mean, on the TC, where are you going to make it? Your opponent is coming. But even there, it's probably not going to be a no. I don't know. I mean, looking so, so, so bad. But if he's doing the castle, uh-oh. He's going to move around. He can't. I think he should go to this area. No, no, no. That's a little bit sloppy here. Yeah, he cannot do any. Oh, it's open. It's open. So he's going to lose the stone miners. La la la. Dia, da, 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 da. Dia, da, da. Dia, dia. Well, his economy is already really weak. It's gonna be even weaker. One village down, two villages down. He's gonna take probably three villages down. Oh my god, he's stay and now he's gonna take another one. And and another one. He's gonna take one more. Yeah, he will. Oh my god. And another one. 
Total destruction. Population for Andy. Crap. Really crap. Andy has right now 23 villages. He has the castle, but how much resources and villages on foot he has, guys? Now he put three, but he has no resources, man. He's doing a villager, but he has no economy at all. So, this greedy, greedy gameplay, it doesn't work if the opponent are going as aggressive as Dogao did. Who is playing amazing, he's on the way to Castle Age. You can see how now Sito is also on the way to Castle Age. And Daniel, with those militias he did in the early game, he's Fook, guys. You know, he really is, you know. Pinari, you are here. Nice. Nice. Is this Doubt versus Tatot? Minus seven, drunk. Nice. Okay. Let's see the galleys. He's going around. I see that you have no fear. I was thinking to come stream today later, but I was like, okay, let's cover at the official time for the broadcast. Yes, let's be professional. One more time. And here we are with a crazy population advantage for BBQ. Yeah. And also with the timing. He's going to be in Castleage. He has how many Janissars? Two Janissars only where they are. Where they are. Oh, he's trying to deal with the arches. But, but he has only two. If he micro properly, he can kill. Oh, I think he should try to kill now. But you will lose a lot. Yeah, those Janissas are sick. Are pretty sick. Still, population difference is insane. But even more problems is Teal. You know, like, what Daniel can do. He's in feudalage, you know. Feudalage forever. This is Bengalis. You know, doing battle elephants. He's doing battle elephants, but then make even siege if you can. Okay. He's gonna try to kill the house and go in? Maybe. Definitely maybe. Arnotov has a lot of galleys. More than green. So definitely has the advantage. But the flanks, in my opinion, they're really fook. Man. Another tower. Oh my god. Why I know the tower there? I mean, what that tower can do, actually? I don't know. But well. He got crossbows with Botkin Arrow. I mean, I'm trying to see a way that they can come back. And I don't see it, you know? I really don't see it. Red is now up. Blue is here with the with the archers dealing with the Janissas because Andy sadly has only five and he cannot attack and what you want in this kind of situation is to attack mainly but you know okay Sito here is with few arches taking also the fishing ships I know that in the middle he has the the galleys control but I wouldn't be surprised and knowing Daniel that he might call it He's doing eagles against elephants. What? Well, if you were spears, he has arches also. I think he should take the tower. Why not? GG. I was sure, man. Game over, guys. Do zero. BBQ. I'm smelling. I'm smelling a domination. Oh, man. Oh, man. What a destruction. But let's remember that they put... AM and Gamer Lee, you're both in problems, you know? They won 3-2, so, yeah. And let's be honest, I'm going to give you my opinion. Insanity got easy brackets. They qualified to this Final Four because they faced Vietnam. The format of the tournament with that best of one made that some change happen in the brackets and that benefited them big time. Because, I'm sorry to say, but for me, um, Suomi and WWP is still a stronger team than, 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 than Insanity. That's pretty obvious, you know, I don't have to say. Still, hopefully they will play better the next games. Because right now, Miguel Cito and Dogao are really dominating big time. Let's see, game three. Okay, guys, game three, let's go. And this is barbecue 
and my insanity. The pockets are Sito Gujaras and Daniel Malians. Then as a flanks, we have freaking Andy Japanese facing Miguel with the Saracens. Both are very nice saves, and but they are very far. And then we have Gurjaras and Otop. He will go scouts, and then Purple will go water. And then Teal, Dogao, Spanish, Fast Castle into Kongs. Fast Castle into Kongs. Hmm? Okay. Thank you for the follow, Hakan038. I don't think so that he got scared, but if he did, well, it's what it is, man. What I don't like it. I mean, this is how I am. For me, it doesn't make sense that you join a channel, you just follow, and then you just ask to the streamer, how old are you? Your first word in the channel is, how old are you? Instead of saying, hello, first time in the channel, blah, blah, wh whatever, you know? Oh, yeah. It, when it's obvious that he's 25, anonymous gifter. He just gifted a soup to Broly. Okay, now I'm gonna be honest as well. That anonymous gifter, shame on you. You should gift someone like, for example, Medor82. He watched me every day. You should reward guys, people that is watching the channel constantly, not people that it's here for the first time and maybe they don't come back anymore. My goodness, my goodness, unbelievable. Yes. People deserve to be rewarded for their loyalty, not for being new, you know? Thank you for the follow. You see, now everyone is following because now everyone wants the subscription gift. Unbelievable. Anyway, jokes aside, look at these trade cards. Ah, look. Amazing. Amazing ghost trade card. You see? Pretty sick. Okay. Oh, so, yeah. what civilizations do you prefer? I'm gonna tell you, in a in a shape map like this, thank you so much for the gift. You know, I prefer civilizations for barbecue. Why? Span is here can be insane. Because also you're gonna trade early, probably. Like you, we have seen. And for the later game is pretty sick. Then they have Gurjaras both and Saracens. Yeah, for the late game, definitely they have a better civilization. I hope you see next BWZ. What do you mean? Hmm. Okay, and now he's taking the Rhino. Hmm? Got it. All right. Spanish Berry is strong on this map. What is Spanish Berry? What is the difference with the Spanish Berry with all the berries? You talking? Are you drunk? The hell? Okay, we have five bullets on wood now. And obviously green with the lumber came in the middle. You can't go at the back. Oh, that that village is gonna die. No, he didn't. He got luck, man. He definitely got luck. Yeah. And now Palisade here. Two houses, Palisade. Did the guy that asked about the age speak again? He's gone, man. He, he didn't speak, man. What the hell? People don't have sense of humor, man. You know? Because he wanted to know my real age. And that's it. Nothing else. He 105. Disaster. Okay, man, if you're still here, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was just joking because this is a meme in my channel that they talk about my age because since I'm too young, they put me seven years old more. I am barely, barely past the legal age to drive and smoke. You know, I'm 18 years old. Sorry for not telling the truth in the start. And now let's see. Uh, 16 villages on, on wood here. What is he doing? One? Two dogs, okay. Oh, he's without the loom even doing the mining camp. You don't need the mining camp that close to the TC. But the battle will be in the middle. Yellow is too slow, I would say. Well, he went with the fish. While green is not going for the dog. Interesting. Very interesting. Obviously, you have an extra 
economy. But I'm telling you something. If Miguel now win the water, huh? If Miguel win the water, then Yellow also lose the fish, and that's a problem. Yellow is doing now the barrack, the Obama. He has only three villages on foot. Yeah. Oh, he's going cold. He's going archers then. What the hell? Because the scout is red. I like it. I really do. But then it's gonna be only green, only green on the land with the scouts. Blue is on water and teal is fast castle. This can be a problem for for barbecue. It can be in the early game. But if they don't do damage, the the fast castle can be domination, you know? It can be really domination. You know? Yeah. Well, let's see. Okay. He's housed, man. He should have done the stone watch probably. Because he's housed for a long time. Yeah. Oh, but I think he has stone watch also. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Deal is wall in all. Wall in all the map. Makes sense. Make real sense. Green is going forging, going the attack upgrade, Mr. Sito. And that means a villager down here. Because he's going archers and he won't have. Yeah, it's. It's kill. He's one villager down. Got it. And he's gonna go with more. No, no, no. You don't want to lose against the spear. Now they see purple. But guys, I insist. Teal economy is going up, man. Dogao with conquistadors. You don't want to play against Dogao with conks. You really don't. He's wanting a lot. He does have the wood to make the up. The, 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 the. Oh, he did. The market is here already. He's gonna trade, man. Spend his trade and he's on the way to Castle Age in a moment. He missed some food. He's not missing anymore. And ladies and gentlemen, the scout need to do some damage, but I don't think it will. It's gonna be fully walled. The archers are coming, oh, and this is a problem, yeah. man. This is a problem. Pro sleep! This is what I need, a pro sleep. Today is my free day, let's say, in terms of training, because I don't go to the gym on Saturday and Sunday usually, except that I fail in the week. Day, and I have wake up today, yes, super late, half past five. Close to six. Very, very nice. I hate myself. Anyway, you have to be careful here. He has no goal, and I'll put all the villages on a stone. Well, he's going for food. That's fine. That's really fine. Whoa. Flaming Camel. 1,000 bits. That's that's solid, man. That's solid. Thank you so much. Blue is coming with galleys here. But guys, I insist the difference, the, the real difference, is going to be the damn Kongs. I think it will make a house. Yes, and he will. Very nice, because you don't want to break and, and dive in. If you dive in, it can be a problem. It can really be a problem. Thank you for those 17 moons. AB Air 4K. The Flaming Camel, your, the alert of the of the bits didn't sound. I think it's up here, but no sound. Well, I don't know. But well, thank you, man. It's there. It's there. Green holding. He has two towers, one on the berries, one on the wood, so he's fine. I like it. I really like it. Sito, gonna be playing very strong. What the hell are you talking about? Members 19 years young. Uh, these people, man. These people. Anotop! He's in Castle, it's also, and he's gonna go camels. Or what? Well, the Kongs are here. He's now well protected. They can remember that they can trade even with the walls. Look, it's ghost. It's, it's a ghost trade card. Like seriously. Yeah, look at this. Purple. Ah, come on, Andy. Why well, you made the market here? Making the corner, man. Making the corner. The, I mean, don't be lazy and make the market in the corner like the plies are doing and then they can trade now. Yeah, well, Green does have a market, but he's doing the market in the corner. And Andy, that is a black forest player. Because don't forget about that. He won't 
He doesn't want to be recognized as a black forest player, but he is a black forest player. Then he he went into into another level and performs good in other maps. But once you are a black forest player, you are a black forest player forever. The castle is there, but they cannot see the castle yet, right? No. So when he's going to arrive, surprise! The castle is there. Bye bye, scout. They are very fast units, but still the conks hit and back, hit and back and dominate. And that's a problem. It's a real problem. Hey man, nice to see you here. Nice to see you too, man. Hi, Thank man, you, man. Nice to see you here. Thanks for those two moons. They are taking the fish. They have some galleys here, Andy. And he's on the way to castle it, but blue too. And he has more navy. Yep. Green is up too, and well. Now there will be everyone in Castellage. Obviously, uh, Green is in troubles. Red is coming with riders. And the Green reaction, Sito reaction uh, to those riders is very, very slow. Yeah, really slow. Losing Phyllis, man. Yeah, this is a problem. This is a real problem. But now, guys, the scouts are coming. And the most important, the damn Kongs. So, what he's going to try to do now, Teal, is to dominate. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, if you hit... Yeah, they, they, they die, man. They can't, they, everything die. You need Kongs, but you need monks, right? And even like that, if you don't convert them, pff, it's punish, man. Thing here is Dogao is the best boom by far in the game. With two TCs, he has the castle defensive, and well, he still have the fish. So he's dominating for now, like really dominating. Blue. He's gonna be in castle in a moment. I think he need to attack before he get... Oh, that was a very nice catch up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now this one. Oh, he got it. Well, one for one. Blue has how many? 17 galleys. Purple... Se what? Purple seven galleys only. For real? Then just keep going and you dominate completely. The Kongs are coming. And well... Uh, barbecue is dominating, man. It's really dominating. Green has... Not the best situation, okay. But the other two have... Oh my god. Look at the Kongs, guys. Look at the Kongs. Yellow is coming with arches. Quite some arch of archers, you know. But still, the Kongs are very strong. He has a lot of army here. You need to go back. Yeah, and he is going back. But now, the thing here is... Oh, the, he he has husbandry. Look at how the, the, the Kongs are going down now. Okay. I see the score difference big, but the population is similar. Similar in village number, only 10 behind. Military is even more for my insanity, but they're ready now with riders. So this is the thing. If you go now, see Togu, Jara's full riders and some Kongs, can you kill those archers? Archers, in theory, they're fine, but... Oh, Blue, Miguel, 8 villages, I don't, don't want to check. Okay, husbandry. And uh, where is the damn arches? The arches are now out of position. That's the problem. The mobility. And if he has riders, camels, and kongs, depend obviously the numbers. Oof. No, no, no. No, no, no. You got to be careful. Yeah, he has no ballistic, but it's too many camels. If it was raiders. Oh, wow. Red now has a lot of farming. You have to be careful. Look at those galleys here. I think they are kind of recovering in this situation now. I like it. I definitely like it. Okay. Teal is even doing the caravan. The gal. It's even trading already with the bonus. What the hell? Yeah, blue. With this economy. That you see here. Let's see, man. Let's see. Because I don't know who has advantage here. This army is scary. They have a lot of camels and riders with crossbows coming. But blue has nothing here to defend. Like, really nothing. So, I mean, if the score is still ahead for Miguel Dogo and Sito, they have to be careful. This approach is dangerous. Well, here are the Kongs. But no husbandry is, is really costing quite a lot of Kongs, as you can see. It's pretty much one for one per one. And now, now it's destruction, guys. Oh my god. Well, Blue is not even noticing. Miguel, uh, 
yeah, that's the problem. You are focused on water. And obviously, Sito does have any army to defend. He's gonna move, he has the tower here, but this TC is gonna save him a little bit for now. Just a little bit, you know. And he has zero army, while blue has 26 navy, you know? So, it's crazy. On land, you can see here, this is a tower with, the, with those arches as well. And uh, yeah, just keep going and kill, kill the dogs. But uh, they will need, they will need to go out to dominate, man. They will really need it. Yeah, I mean, the trade is coming and he's going to lose the trade card as well. Okay. No, no, no. Don't send the trade there. Green is trying to send some army, but this tower is down. Blue is now with 37 villages only. Green is coming with more camels, but the trade got from blue. What the hell? He's not paying attention. No, the riders. You don't want to send the riders there. He got camels and riders, but I don't know, man. I really don't know. I think the score is kind of fake. It's because of the water. And we have said many times that the water score is not that important. You know, for the later game. Right now, Blue is going for a third tone center. Yes. Green has a good amount of army. All right. But... Dogao. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, Dogao. And what is he going to do in Imperial? Because you don't want to keep going Kongs. I mean, he has one... One castle only. Okay. Yeah, they have to be careful. This is the problem with this one. Like, they have the advantage on water because blue won. But on land, they don't have army. The Kongs are coming with plus one armor, bloodlines. He need to make the plus two. Mainly about to be able to hold against the, uh, the crossbows. Okay. Yeah, those crossbows has been listed, but the Reds are coming. Let's see the Kongs. He's going to commit or not. I think he's committing, and I'm not sure if he will commit. Well, we'll find out now. In a couple of minutes, they are going to commit and kill. Look at that micro. Oh my god. Beautiful. He's trying to catch up yellow. He's trying to catch up the arches. He's going to be able to clean all this or not. Look at the Kong. He need to micro like a god, but it's too many units. No, 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 no. You need to kill the rider. Ban. Didn't kill it. It's too fast units. Really fast. And now Insanity are playing better. Are playing good, you know. Are playing good. Here we are with the Relic too. Okay. Green. Getting ready? No, he's just passing there. And blue, 54 villages. Booming. But now Andy's booming as well. Not so many galleys. He's boom, 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 boom. Still a lot of camels and riders with crossbows. But Dogal, 112 villages. I wouldn't be surprised that now he's going Imperial and, and Paladins. Well, that will be lovely. But he has... Not that many on food. 30 farmers. Okay. No, no, no. You need to go back. He took one down, but... Hmm. Interesting. He's up to Imperial, guys. He's on the way to Imperial. Well, now Purple is doing the caravan. Yeah. He got 17 trade cards. I can't believe that Dogao has already 17 Spanish trade cards. I think he's going to dominate, man. He need to go just cavalry, probably. I mean, at this stage of the game, why not? Oh, oh, if he killed his crossbows. Well, he doesn't have an old riders. His camels mainly, so no, he's going away. And now the Kongs are coming. And, ouch. Yeah, his population is brutal. His population is brutal. And let's see what Dogao is planning. Dogao is here with the dog. He's doing his killbar in armor, so imagine if he's doing no stables in this area. He can't raid from, from, from so close. Anyway, he's going back. Look at the Kongs. Hit him back, hit him back. He's using them like a shield, depending. Blue is now recovering. He's kind of catch up purple. You know? That's crazy. And 20 trade card, guys. 20 trade card when red has zero, only four, and eight for yellow. It's crazy. It's, it's a Spanish trade, remember? So... Dogal resources, you can see. He has over 1,000 gold. Look at the food. Oof. And Green is doing a castle on top of that hill. All right. They should wall a little. They are not walling. The castle is going to be up. Okay. Okay. 
The archers are inside. Let's see if Green gonna see it. Yes, he can. In a moment, there's still nobody going up to Imperial. From my insanity, this castle's still not up. And now, time to dominate. Cavaliers, chain barred in armor. He has a village here. You need to raid. The Kongs? It is another or not, the Kongs. Yeah, I'm not sure if he has husbandry. You think Kongs 1.43 is with husbandry? I'm, I don't remember. Hopefully they will put it someday. I suggested back in the days to put oh, where the bloodlines is, you know, and you put like half half and then, well, it, uh, it will show you bloodlines and husbandry, but yeah, husbandry is important. It's true that you can see the speed, but I don't remember for for the Kongs how, sp how fast they are. Anyway, you can see more and more stables. Now we have Yellow on the way to Imperial, but by the time that he's in Imperial, the Malians... Oh, he's going Archers, okay. He's going Archers. Purple now is on the way to Imperial, Japanese, but he has no army, no navy. Blue has 90 bullets, so he kind of has recovered. 10 bullets behind only, and seriously, Dogao can dominate, man. Yeah, Dogao has the Cavaliers. He's a spamming Cavaliers. He should just do plus four, probably. Remember that these upgrades for Spanish don't cost gold. This is very important to kill. These Cavaliers are going to be a no to kill? No. But with all those, yes. And don't lose the trade. He won't. They are very fast. Now coming with all this. Oh. He, he killed the Cavaliers fast. He, well, he's not plus four. He definitely not plus four. He might kill now. I think he will have to delete the houses. Yeah, but he's taking trade because he knows that those arches are out. Oh, they are out. Already gone. Very good. On the right, more cavaliers are coming. Look at the score from the Dogao, guys. And look at now the army numbers. They have more villages, yes, but the army number is 88. 35. The arches disappear. The cavaliers are coming. And now, and now, this is a castle from Sito on his face. He's gonna be an Imperial Yellow, which is great. Yeah, but he removed the Mangonel. Okay, oh my god, oh my god. Seriously, now make some walls, make some walls. Oh, did you see that path in? Now make some houses. You need to make a gate. Now the Cavaliers are coming, but he's gonna fail. This is gonna be a doubt one. He's gonna be a doubt one. He has a Mangonel. With the Mangonel, he could take the arches, but, 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 boom. The Camels are here. So many Camels, the Cavaliers are coming. Definitely he's not gonna make it. Uh, actually, maybe he can do it. Dogao is already sending resources. Wow. And paid a lot of taxes. They're expensive, man. They're expensive. But just go for this castle. More archer. Safran Trowers, but he lost a lot of archers. It's Arbalest. Guys. Daniel is playing Malian's Arbalest, guys. As a pocket. It's awkward. It's really awkward, actually. Arbalest, man, instead of Camel's Farimba, man. Seriously. Well, Arbalest from Malians don't have the plus three. It's kind of weird to make this. I can understand to go Arce, but you have to make a transition. Anyway, Dogao, 34 trade at the Spanish trade. Remember, 200 population. It's true that Green is in troubles. Like, Green Cito is behind. It's really behind. So, Dogao has to kill. And you know what? Dogao is killing. You know, Dogao is really killing. Check his resources. He's with Cavaliers raiding all over. And Halvardiers, but only 10 Halvardiers. And now, in a moment, he's going to click for the Paladin upgrade. Let's go. Paladin upgrade here. Yeah? Those those Cavaliers will dominate the Arbalest for sure. And probably those Camels. Because those Camels are plus two. He delete the castle, he told? No. He lost the stone, it seems. Those Cavaliers, maybe it's not that... Oh, man. It's three versus one, man. Dogao versus the world. And now, Anot of Daniel and Andy taking the score lead because Sito is in the hell. Blue will need more and more galleys. He need to go there, but the galleys are killing the camels as well. What the hell? Don't waste it, man. Don't waste it. He has now 13 cavaliers, but I'm telling you something. Doesn't matter. Why does it matter? Because Spanish economy is so great. Do I need more farmers? He has 40. Yeah, I will do 50, 60, probably. 60, even more than 50. And with already 40 trade cards. 40 trade cards, he's more than fine. 24 trade for Japan is also very good. So let's see. The Havardiers are coming. Miguel is in Imperial. But 
we still have green not up so where are the palace going to dominate he's coming with fast fire ships all right i don't know the camels are there still and red heavy camel rider plus four okay paladins are already there he's doing now barracks obamas mm. Ooh, you, 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 you. green is still 106 bullies okay still finally my insanity with the score lead andy now doing a lot more helps but the galleons are killing the camels oh my god but boom with the devil bam so many and this is now paladins okay well if they don't kill now that Sito is not in the game, when Sito with Jaras is going to be in the game, then it's going to be a different thing. All those Galleons are also going down, but he lost also. So, ooh, he has good army, man. Red has good army, but there's one problem. Five traits at only. You got to be careful. The Paladins are coming. 23 Paladins. Siege to our shop, but oh, killing so many villains too. Andy is going to take the tower. Well, these Japanese towers are very strong, remember, but but still, it's probably not an old. We'll see. Green on the way to Imperial. He's doing coinage, so he's going to start to send resources. 3,500 gold for the Gao. Not bad. Not really bad. Definitely not bad with my AC. It's hot here. Vamos. I need AC, guys. I'm dying now. I'm really dying. Okay. Supremacy? Yeah. To avoid the raiding. You can build anything. He's walling. He has a castle, so all good. He has ballistic? No, ballistic will be good. But now, guys, he's raiding. And yellow is losing all, guys. Yellow is losing all. I still believe that if green join the party, they will still get the game because of a Spanish trade. And because Miguel has a domination in the middle. My goodness. He has controlled the middle completely right now. Yeah, definitely he has. He's coming with some fast fires. Is this an oath? Look at those galleys. I like it. He's blocked them and he's now killing them. The fast fire ships with so many galleons. He's going to convert? Oh, man. Oh, man. There's some ready with camels. But guys, okay. He's chasing by, by, by the halves. But he has paladins. And he's doing damage here, you know? He has some idols and he's killing now more and more. Oh boy. Oh really boy. And now he has halves. Green finally, heavy camel rider. Heavy demolition ship. Whoa. Well, the heavy demo seeds can bring some big bada booms and it's gonna be lovely. I still insist. Spend it straight for the win. This is one of those games that everyone loves to see in Age of Empires. The late game with trade that bring so much action right here and there. Greatest economies. And well, also some good slink. Oh, oh, heavy demo. Look, 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 look. Ay, 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 Oh, eta la mierda, hombre. A la mierda. I was hyping the demo and then you, you shoot before he's the, the, the heavy demo and you take nothing. Eh, like this, I cannot hype anything. Is it possible? I cannot hype. Man, we need more demos. Yeah, that was a, a Titanic demo. Okay. <laughs> Disappointed. Guys. Frontier Wards. Do they have Frontier Wards? No! The camels from Anotop. It's missing the upgrade. Oh, man. Well, green camels. Even if he got less. Because, guys, 38 Khazars, 40 camels. That's a lot of farming. But these camels from green are plus 6 already. And it's going to be even more when he has the plus 4. Because it's going to be plus 7. Melee units plus four, and those are crazy. Those are really crazy. You can see how they are killing a lot now. And 14. those camels from green Love are gonna be insane. Mem less than three. Thank you, Fudego. But my casting is usually good in games like this, when I can try to go with all the passion. Those palines there are not the way to go. Please move it. He got 30 palines in the queue. Three thousand gold for the gal in the bank siege rams spanish man spanish civilization in team games is just so brutal brutality look at the score they take the score lead and now danielle is doing arbalest man no he's still doing arbalest with malians ay 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 
No Arbalest, please. Just go Farimba, man. He needs Farimba, but that he has trade. Well, he has 33 trade cards. So, yeah, he has trade. Okay, he wall, stone wall. This is chemistry. Now Green will have the last, the last attack. Oh my god, look at those demo now. Look at those demo. Heavy demos. Look, 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 go, 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 go. Oh. Bam. Well, look at the army numbers now. It's impossible. Frontier Wars now for red, but guys, he's doing that upgrade when he has 10 camels. Not so long ago, he had 40 camels. They are dead, guys. They are dead. Andy, 160 delays with Japanese. He need 100 halves. And he has 18 halberdiers. He need a lot more halberdiers. He has so many villages. Obviously, he's trying. And he's trying to do the, the beautiful towers, but... This BBQ team, and specifically in this game, Dugao. What a domination, guys. What a damn domination. The Paladins are coming, and Paladins with halves is really good. You know, because obviously the Paladins are not great against those crazy camels, but with halves, you're okay, right? It's true that Red has a lot of farming, man. But he's just waiting the halves, and he will attack again. Yeah, there you go. Now you can attack. Attack, man. Yeah, those halves are crazy. Tito bought it a stone, and you can see, doing more castles to control more, more the map. Yeah, there's some small raid, but that's not really important right now. It's still walling. Siege Rams from blue. Oof. Well, the Siege Rams will dominate. If he's doing many of them, yeah, it will take everything. Like everything. Look at the halves and the paladins, guys. Dugao is still going. He's with still floating 3,000 stone. And we see how the Malians is still going with 34 Arbalest. Those Arbalest, as you can see, are very weak. They are definitely not great. They don't have the plus three. And Malians should be doing some of the units 100%. Really 100%. Because on the land, there is three Plyas versus two, basically. And with two Plyas on the land, they are still advancing and winning. Well, now these camels from Gujaras are being sick. He needs this tower, and he will do it. Suspend his villains, they don't die, they have supremacy. But, you need more halves here, or Dugao will have some problem. Well, Dugao can spam forever, right? He has the resources. Yeah, look at now the bomber tower. He's going back again, siege rams is crazy. And now the siege rams are coming. Let's see those camels. They're fully abraded. Okay, doing another castle. He's gonna take it with the trap. He shouldn't. He should go maybe with the rams and kill it. Maybe. I don't know if they can see it. Let's see. Yeah, he definitely can. Go with the rams and dominate the traps. Otherwise, it's gonna be difficult. You want to keep this castle. And this is now... Oh, he's even doing heresy. Do they have monks? Guys, do you know how many monks I see on purple, red, and yellow? Okay, he has monks. Fuck. I was going to make the zero monks, but no. Yellow has monks, so he's fine, heresy then. I'm an idiot. I'm a total idiot. Elitia Thrower. You know what? He has monks. <laughs> anyway, but you see, guys, if I Titanic, I insult myself. I'm an idiot, you know? And I tell without any, any, any shame on me, you know? Farimba! Finally! Yellow is doing Farimba, but you know what? Looks late. Looks really late because Dugao is advancing now with Paladins, with Helms, with Bomber Towers. But those Bomber Towers are not gonna be up. The Supremacy is good, but man, this is a lot of army. Anotop is spamming like crazy. Now yellow is doing the upgrade. Heavy camels. But that he has the upgrades? No. He's missing the attack. All right. Palins and halves. This army is going to hold. Ooh. Ooh. He need maybe some Chathran Throwers. But he has only one castle. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. And blue? Ah, he's getting raided. Nah, not really important. Uh, guys. Um, Andy... 170 villages, 30 idols, 170 villages is too many, man. I know that he doesn't have crazy resources because maybe he has been slinging. We will check at the end of the game, but you need more army, man. He has no army. And he has no army right now. Yellow also don't have army because he has Arvales and they are not working. Okay. But, and they need more army. 
But as I said, his economy is at the limit with this amount of, of, of village, which is crazy. He's doing more bomber towers, Logal. And he has 4,000 gold. Miguel, 3,000 gold. 1k stone. He's doing more bomber towers. And only with the towers he's advancing. He's there us already. Now with the camels, they are fully abraded. Yeah. Definitely they are. And now we got... Yeah, it's it's a lot of farming now for for Cito. It, it, let's see, because finally eh, he has some camels, and finally some good amount of helps, and he has a hundred halberdiers in the queue. But man, he's thirty four idols. Delete it. You see, my how many more helps he could have? He got so many idols. Well, maybe they are garrison because he's raiding. I don't know. You know, I don't know. Yeah, now it's 42 idols, 35 idols. They definitely don't have an efficient population. And Dogal still going. And sadly for Anotop, is unable to stop him. And the way to stop him will be halves and trebuchets from Japan. That's why Andy's coming. I like it. He's going to be there. Let's see. So then maybe Anotop should go siege elephants. But he does have gold, man. Yeah. Andy's sending resources to Anotop. I like it. Yeah, the player is just motivated completely in games like this. But the problem here is, if now he's here with the halves, Blue is going to clean all, exactly. And they are calling the GG. What a game. What a performance. Very, very nice. Dogal has played this. Like, I don't know if you remember the old times with, uh, with, the, with, the, with the Nations Cup, with Brazil and so on. Dogao has played in this game, amazing, you know, very, very good, amazing game in general, you know, really, really strong, but Dogao has dominated big time here, yeah, Dogao with the domination, great play by, by the Brazilian, yeah, really, really great play, Miguel did his role on the water, he destroyed, look at the KD for Miguel, sick, and Sito was a little bit behind in that, in that area, but he never let, for example, Daniel also to kill anything or, or dominate, so it was fine, but the economy, Boah! Dogao economy is disgusting, you know. He got 20,000 more resources than the second in the game that was Andy and Miguel. 20k more. And then he got almost 40k gold, 3k gold for the relics. He was slinging even some resources. Miguel too, you know, they were slinging to Cito mainly. And that was the domination. The Brazilians dominating. And uh, let's go. Game number four. And we keep going, guys. We keep going. With barbecue and insanity. You know. And we have Miguel Franks, Sito, Korea, Dogal Malians. Franks is always there, Anatop. Andy with Bengalis, Daniel with Vietnam. All right. So, Vietnam is really nice here. Remember that this is three pieces of pizza. This one is mostly gold. This one, it's a little bit of everything. Oh. All resources, but more, but more stone. And this one is food. The one on the left, green and yellow. Both Frank's players are close, not in the range. Okay. So it's not TC war. The game can keep going. The show must go on. I like this a lot. Andy has TC with gold and Lambert camp together, and then he will make a mill here. All right, and then you can take the shortfish. Yeah, it's good position for Andy. Daniel, Vietnam, and then when he makes the TC, he will be able to see the opponents, which is always very interesting. Very, very interesting. But guys, I think it's the first time that nobody is doing a town center in this area. Nobody has a TC in the south. Two town centers, Frank's players on the foot, and four town centers on the goal my goodness okay well civilization's better i'm not sure to be honest i think probably a little bit better for freaking andy team but uh, hmm. they have to play yeah thank you oh. for following oh okay he was forced to delete the house now he's doing the loom 
Oh, wow. He was in the range to lose the... Yeah, he could lose the two... Both villages, man. That's pretty sick, actually. He has no loom. Attack. 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 He has no loom. Oh, my God. Yeah. Now he's fine. 12 he's a wall. Months. But he's a wall. Why he didn't wall? No. Okay, but, but this is not good because now he's going to block you. Hmm, I don't know. Who this is Cry? Link Slank, thank you for the tier 2 subscriber. Appreciate it, man. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Hello, Daniel Wasteman. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Well, let's see who has the advantage here. Oh. He's failing, man. Or maybe not. Okay, Miguel now with the domination. But he's going to repair that... That house. Daniel. Daniel. No, this is a fail, man. Ay, ay, ay. Just go away. And now he's going to where? He should go. He should move. What the hell? Just move with your teammate. With blue or teal. Yeah, remember that you have cartography. So you know where your teammates are. And red know basically where the, the opponents are because he got Vietnam. So it's fine. This game is... Uh, this map is... It's special, you know? It's kind of hard to cast. Very hard to follow all the meta and everything. But guys, Miguel has nine villages. Yellow 15. Uh, Miguel is dead. How Miguel has that? Oh my god, the idle time from Miguel is insane. It's really insane. Yeah, it's, it's impossible. I mean, he has six population less. And he lost two villains that probably was in this area. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they basically has one player less. You know? They basically has one player less because Miguel has five villains behind. And I don't know how they're going to come back from this, you know? Yeah, well, he lost two villages here in this area. Because there is not villages on, on this piece of pizza. And then he has been idle 1 minute and 22 seconds. That does basically three villages, you know? And that's it. That's what happened to him. Thank you for the follow. Really appreciate it. He has those two villages. So I think he will use a make a lumber camp. At least you don't want to have idols those. Or make a mining camp. Whatever. Whatever, really. He's taking out the Rhino, he's doing the bar rack. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's see what Anotop is going to do. You see the town center here? I don't know if he should make maybe some tower in this area and then the stable not here. Make the stable in, in the area where there is many opponents and, and Miguel is already really behind. They should know it, but he's doing the stable here. I don't like it. I think it's a mistake. I think it's honestly a mistake. Because what you want to do to finish a player that is already behind, isn't better to to try to to dominate now here blue and teal? I don't know. Yeah. Because now... Okay. Yeah, Miguel is up now with 18 population. Okay. He's killing the deers. Uh-oh. He's going to lose another village. Green is not paying attention. Ouch. Ouch. Village in the TC. And? And? Oh, my God. He killed himself. Because he could keep going, but, well, it's difficult, you know. But another village down. It's already three and so much idle. So, let's see. Those two villages, what is he planning to do? I don't know. Don't know, don't know. Miguel is fully cornered here. He's gonna make a barrack now. 
But he's in big problems, man. In really big problems. Oh my god. He's three villages behind. He's gonna be four villages behind, probably. Or four and a half. Not going to cut. And Sito is going Castleage right away. Market of Blastmith. But Andy's already going up. And he has been Gallis. You get extra resources. Okay. What is he doing now? Daniel with Vietnam? He's gonna make a town center in this area? Um, why so much idle time? They want to all attack green? Is this a good idea? Then blue and teal will kill all. He's gonna go siege probably. Well, what is what's happening? Oh, this is feudal actually. So he's up to feudalage and now he's gonna do what? Daniel. This is so weird to me. Really, really weird. Yeah, green has no resources. Now the spears are there. Gotta be careful. What is red doing, guys? Uh, Daniel has zero food right now. He's doing a barrack with eight villiers. What the hell Daniel is doing, guys? What the hell is he doing? He has zero food. Idle time now. Over a minute and 40 seconds. Not doing anything right now. And ladies and gentlemen, Sito is going to drop a castle on Daniel's face. Basically. Yes. And he's dead. Double monastery here. Archery range with 17 villages. Uh, what's going on? This is... What happened? This is... No, the final is tomorrow. AM versus Gamer Legion is tomorrow, guys. Okay. Uh, I'm... I don't know what to say. Well, this is useless. I mean, Dread is dead already. Like, this castle is not even important here. Okay. And Blue is about to go up to Castle H very soon. Malians. Okay. He's now doing a new town center. But Daniel is dead. As you can see. Fully dead. They are defending pretty well here. And uh, what Andy is doing is monks and siege. But guys, this, uh, this is a game that this will have been for... My insanity, but they are playing so weird, you know? Like, seriously, so weird. Yeah, Miguel has now 27 villages, only two villages behind Dan, Dan Yellow, when he could be in, a, in five villages difference, you know? And now, what is Green going to do? I don't know what Green is doing. I mean, are they going crazy? Oh, he's gonna try to kill the tower with the villages. Yeah, I like it. He's gonna wall now. Okay, that was a good move, but he's gonna take the house down. He's gonna lose a billion, maybe? No. And now? He's gonna take the tower. Oh, this is game over. And they're gonna win 4 0. Like. Okay, let's see if Andy can now do the job here. But Blue is almost castleage. He's coming with a lot of monks. He's gonna make towers, Dogal. No, no. That tower is not the node. Okay, Andy can save the day. Let's see. Because now this is Bangal. And you might lose a lot. Oh my god. Oh my god, no, no, you can't make that tower, delete it. Okay, this is madness, now he's gonna try to kill the tower, but he can't. Now Miguel is starting to throw all, all the recovery he did. Okay, losing a villain, losing another, the tower is still alive, the speed is coming, he's gonna lose another or not? Still red is out of the game, and Sito, second tone center, this castle is doing war wagons. I wouldn't do it, because his opponent has just full monks. Okay, 
He's repairing. He's gonna be in Castleage. And now freaking Andy is dominating, man. And here, you can see. Well, Yellow has now 27 villiers. So Green is in a better position. Purple is doing redemption. And what is Blue going to do? That's the thing. Because now he has 24 villiers. No, no. I think we have a, a game number five, probably. That's crazy, but this is what is bringing this map, you know? Red is so behind, yellow is so behind, but blue is also low. Well, it's true that he's in Castle H, but he can move now. All right. Ah. Green is trying to make more scouts. Yes. And then maybe with the scouts, he can do the job. Well, he has redemption, and now he walks his own villager. Okay. So now all those, he's just stuck. This is down, and now he's doing another tone center. Okay. He obviously no. Oof. Well, the miners are going to die, or maybe not. Okay, how many monks is gonna kill? Remember that these Bengalis monks, but he killed his own monks. He killed his own monks, or maybe not. It's so difficult to kill. It's so difficult because they are killing each other. Look at this. These monks are just unstoppable, man. But he killed all the mangonels. That's not good. You know, now he got five monks left. And honestly, for for scouts value, it was good, man. And now Red is doing a douche into a player that is already out of the game. I mean, not out of the game, but 29 villages. Well, that's okay. So, um, the game now is on Sito hands, I believe, you know, because now Sito has one, two, three, four tone centers. He has the castle here. You don't want to get converted. He's coming now with the monks. And you know what I will do if I'm Sito? I will do a few towers. But you know how much stone got Sito right now? Come on, guys, you have to know. He got zero, man. Really, really zero. That's why he's doing a tower here. But that tower is late. Now he's converting villages. Yeah. Sito is playing, is booming and he's not preventing this aggression. He need to make the tower. That tower will help against the, the Mangonels, but he converted already few villages and the Mangonel is coming. And Sito, that got the chances to, to recover for his team, is not gonna do it. And he playing clown, but very good. It's gonna now mine goal, as you can see. Oh my God. Zero reaction by Sito. He should have a tower here a long time ago, but well, it's what it is. And now Miguel, Creating villages, man. Okay. Red has 27 villages, 26, 32. Now he's on the way to Castleage. Dogao has only one tone center, even if he's even if he's in Castleage. Okay. Let's see. He's converting the houses. Maybe a tower here will help, but he has the Mangonel. And uh, this is the thing, Sito has now the castle, but he's not doing army. He has one war wagon, so he has been trying to boom when he see that Andy is there with monks and so on, but zero army. And that's a problem. There's a real problem. Yeah, because if, if he got... GG, man. 3-1, guys. 3-1, and in this map, anything can happen. And, well, we still have a series. We still have a series going. You can see Sito two wagons. That's what I don't understand. Why only Tilly sees and not doing army? Yeah. But well, Andy saved the day here and the honor for his team or something else. Because now maybe they they get the motivation and the confidence. And we see better gameplay by them. And uh, maybe we can have a, a comeback. Sito kill it three units, guys. And he did one army high. That's crazy. Really, really crazy. Yeah. He was trying to boom with his zero army, man. And the MVP in this game. Game five. Okay, guys. Game number five. Well, this is madness aggression. You know? This is absolutely madness aggression. Miguel Persians. Andy Persians. And now Andy's pocket. Daniel as a god. Flank, Anotop Korea as a flank as well. Okay. 
Um, are they gonna make a douche? You know? Are they gonna make a douche? You know? Or not? Mm, let me know, man. Let me know. Okay? Honey, but don't come back, please. If you go, just you, just go. But please, don't come back again, okay? We don't need viewers like you. Okay, let's see. What is going to be? Okay. Let's see what is going to be. Do you think they will do douche or not? Hmm? No. Well, they are doing the dock, and now they have malicious proof. This is going to be so hard to cast. Really hard to cast. And they are really in troubles. Oh my god, you don't want to lose that villager. You don't want to lose the villager. And he... That was sick. He saved it. The villager, right? Ooh, almost. Okay. They are starting to play solid now, huh? He's going to be able to make the dock or not. Well, they defended, but green is coming. Green is coming. Andy, wall the village. Oh my god, Andy. Oh, sick. Sick, man. I like it. I like it. Well, yellow give the energy, you know? Yellow really give the energy, you know? Yeah, okay. Oh man, Daniel is slamming the board close. Well, he can still take the food and he still have a lot of food, so it's fine. And now he's trying to land with gods. He has also two militias. I think that villain is now going to die. Yeah, don't think this is an oath, but still, I might be wrong. No, 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 it's definitely not good. This is good for blue, for sure. Got it. And now, oh, look at this. <laughs> They are trying to lay, man. But nah, he's okay. Look at this. This madness is kills here. Sito with three militias already. He got the gods too. But he got four militias and the scout. What the hell? Well, purple lost the scout. Uh-oh. Sito in these kind of approaches is usually very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. It's not gonna push. They're gonna take the elephant back. He has five and he's gonna be six militias, man. Wow. He has two bullets more. Now blue and green are up. And then he's gonna take the house. He's trying to make the damage to Andy. Andy is gonna be up in a moment. Yes, but look his foot. Not great. Yeah, and what is his plan now? He's gonna go fire Calais. Well, if he's doing, might kill the fish. He's gonna make a tower. Why he's not doing galleys? Now he's doing the galley. And killing all these fish to to the other pocket can be very sick, actually. Purple now coming with more militias, but he will definitely lose the fish, and that's a very important advantage here for Andy. Obviously, he will need something, and now he's doing the barrack. So, man, the series are getting interesting, man. But Anotop is also forward with an archery range. Super Super aggressive. Hey yeah, guys, dug out this. Did this before, man. He's the Mongols. And he's going Castle Age, man. Fast Castle Age by Dugao. In minute nine, he's gonna click. Oh my goodness. Yeah. He's not doing another villager. Okay. 
He's gonna see the the archery range. Now he can see it. And the fish is gone. Oof! Big problems here. Well, he's doing a tower. Okay. Need to attack with the militias. He definitely has to attack. Don't let it alone. You need to go. The tower is gonna be up. He's gonna lose a Valir. No, he's gonna be fine. And there you go. He's doing a skill bar in armor. And he's defending with those militias. He's gonna go with the Lambrican. With the Lambriac, sorry. And now he's sending the archers. He's... Oh, man. This tower is fantastic. He's taking food. He's taking the wood. He's defending this. The goal is on the TC. We have seen this kind of Mongols time up. Uh, in few cities already with uh, with the barbecue. And now at Anotop is going to drop a TC, man. Or not. Five villages forward? What is this? No, no. He's Korean. He's not the Persian. Sorry. Uh, he's trying to take the tower? What is he planning to do? He has 21 villages. 21 villages for Anotop, which is... Oh, man. Yeah. Check his idle tone center, guys. He's going all in. Two minutes, 20 seconds idle TC. He's, guys, he's behind in the list that the player that is almost in castleage. What the hell? What the damn hell? Dogao has 500 foot, 200 gold. Sito is now in feudalage. Okay. With 13... Militias, guys. Where are the militias? I don't even know. Well, he got four behind this. Where are the others? Yeah, there's a lot of here. It's true that the water belonged for yellow. Eh, I'm not even sure anymore. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, well, village on the TC. But now, the men at arms from purple are not going to last forever. There's a tower. The lances are going to do the job or not? He has archers, but... Yeah, just take the wood. The tower is helping for sure. He's gonna kill all those. And guys, this looks... Very, very, very bad right now. Because look at now. Andy is gonna lose the stable against 13 men at arms. This game and the cities are... Close to be over. Population is almost the same. But can you tell me how the hell you're gonna stop this? Because I really don't know. So many, man. He's now with Forging. So imagine how fast he's going to be. And GG. Call. 4-1. With a total destruction in this one. Well, this is strategy with the Castle Age with Mongols is fantastic. And then Sito went crazy with 14 men at arms, guys. 14 men at arms. What the hell? What the damn hell? That was pretty sick. Honestly, uh, Barbecue Gets has been definitely, definitely the third best team in the tournament by, by, by a lot, you know? They did a great job. They eliminated WWP, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, right, guys? I think they were the ones who eliminated WWP. And then, except AM and Gamer Legion, that they lost only 3-2. They definitely dominated everyone else. Everyone else. So, yeah. Really good play, man. Really good play. Dogao 11-2. 11-7 also for Miguel. And, uh, well, uh, the time up to you to cast this 11 minutes was fantastic. Hopefully you have enjoyed. And if you are watching this on YouTube, thumb up, subscribe, leave a commentary. It helps a lot to the channel to, 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 to grow, amigos.